All right, we're going to get in a little uh, pre-dinner baseball. This is Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, and we are back with the excellent uh, game Payoff Pitch Baseball by Joe Bryan, our good friend. And tonight we're going to revisit the 1921 Yankees replay as the New York Yankees traveled to Navin Field to take on the uh, – Ty Cobb led Detroit Tigers and what should be a good one. Uh, thus far in this replay, the Yankees, uh, game number 18, they were nine and eight in real life at this point in time. And they come into this one sporting a fine 13 and four record. Uh, just an update since uh, this particular project hasn't been on the channel for a minute. Uh, Babe Ruth who had a outstanding 1921 season, actually the best of his career. Um, currently he is hitting a robust 371 and on base percentage of 513, 18 walks, 11 strikeouts, seven home runs and 26 RBIs. Uh, other players of note, Wally Pip, a few years away from being supplanted by, um, Lou Gehrig in what turned out to be the most costly headache ever, uh, having a great season himself at 362 with three round trippers. And also uh, Chick Fuster, not known for his bat, is currently hitting 353. Um, other players of note uh, from the 1927 team in particular, Bob Musial, after a slow start, has uh, raised his average up to 260. And we also have the aging Frank Home Run Baker of. Uh, Connie Mack's great Philadelphia A's dynasty. He's checking in at 292 right now. Uh, pitching tonight for the Yankees will be Carl Mays, and this will actually be his seventh appearance. Um, he currently has a record of 3-1, three 3.86 ERA. As early in the season, the Yankees seem to pitch him almost every other day. So uh, the formalities out of the way there. We will get down to the lineups. As Arnold Hunter and JWA have joined us at the ballpark. Welcome, guys. So, let me just straighten this out. This looks kind of cockamamie. All right. For the uh, visiting Yankees, leading off in center will be Bragg Roth, Roger Peckinpah, uh, soon to be a key member of the 1924 and 25 Washington Senators uh, World Series teams at short. The babe in left, batting third, Wally Pip clean up at first, Bob Musial is in right, home run Baker at third, Aaron Ward at second, Wally Shang catching, and as mentioned, Carl Mays on the mound. For the Tigers, it will be uh, Ralph Young at second, Donnie Bush at short, Ty Cobb checks in hitting third and center, Bobby Veach in left, Harry Heilman in right, Bob Jones at third. Lou Blue at first, Johnny Bassler behind the dish, and Jim Middleton, normally a reliever, gets the start tonight against the Bombers. And, of course, no game in this series would be complete without our seventh inning morbid fun fact. And today, our fun fact from this era, particularly the dead ball era, uh, prior to this actually, will be about the tragic figure of Harry Pulliam, a National League president, who uh, tragically ended his, his, uh, his own life at the age of 40 and was a key figure in the 1908 Merkel game between the Giants and Cubs. So formalities out of the way. Uh, again, I use a hybrid method where I use uh, the fast action cards along with the dice facts out, fast action cards. I can't talk tonight for play results. And of course, the dice for the rolls. So here we go. All right, Middleton facing Roth, and we're going to have an in-play result. Roth steps into that, and that is going to be a sharp single into center field. So Yankees in business right off the bat as Roth leads it off with a base knock. And that will bring up the shortstop Peckinpah. No action down at first base, and here comes a patient result, 92. And that is going to be a ground ball down to short. And ground ball down to short. Well, actually, I don't need the... Uh, obviously, I haven't played payoff pitch in a while. And that is actually to short is going to be a double play. 
outside of an A or B runner, and Peckinpah is a B, so it's going to be a fielder's choice. He's on it first. So 6-4 on the putout, one down, and the Babe steps up to the plate. Again, Babe tearing up the American League as RJL joins us at the ballpark. Little old school Yankees baseball. I know you love the Yankees, my friend, as Middleton winds up. And this is going to be another in-play result to Ruth. And Ruth cranks that into the gap in right center field. And rounding third base is Peckinpah. Are they going to send him? And he is going to only be able to advance two bases. So Ruth chirping at his teammate as to why he didn't try and score and get the babe at another RBI. And he has 26 already through 17 games. But Wally Pip. Steps up with a chance to uh, give the Yankees an early lead here. This is going to be another patient result, 74 by Pip. And that is going to be a ground ball down to short. Let's see. And that's going to get a runner home. So 6-3 RBI. Ruth is going to have to hold at second base. But Peckinpah comes in with the game's first run. The Yankees jump out to a 1-0 lead as Bob Musio. Steps up. Musial again, a very slow start, has rebounded to get up to uh, 260 now, and this will be another in play result. And finally, Middleton gets out of the inning as that's going to be a ground ball down to third and charging as Bob Jones whips it across the diamond and side is retired. So the Yankees plate a run here in the first on a couple of hits. Leave one, it is 1 0, and Tigers coming to bat. It's going to be Young. Bush and Ty Cobb facing Carl Mays. And the sidewinder comes in high and tight, and we're going to have a defensive check here. All right, defense check on the upside down fast action card. And that is going to be... I got to get my bearing straight here. Sorry, guys. All right. Defense will be a range third base. All right. I'll get it together. Like I said, I have not played this game for a little while. All right. And range at third. And this will be 21 on the roll, and that is going to be uh, successfully retrieved at third base by home run Baker. So 5-3 on the put out. So apparently payoff pitch not like riding a bike as Mays winds up and another in play result. That's going to be a fly ball into center field. Roth comes in to put that away. Easy routine fly ball. Two down as Dave Baseball Demos has joined us. I do have Fall Classic, too. That hasn't been on the table for a while, either. I actually have too many baseball games. I also picked up a season ticket, and I'm going to do a, a debut of that on the channel next. That's actually a very fun game. I played around with a little bit offline. So Ty Cobb, the ferocious one facing Carl Mays. Mays keeping it tight. And that's going to be another fly ball into center field. Roth, two put outs in a row as the Tigers go down one, two, three in the first. And the Yankees hold a 1-0 lead as we head to the second inning. It's going to be home run Baker, followed by Aaron Ward and Wally Shang, another former A's player. As Middleton winds up and we are going to the ballpark, 35. And left-handed batter, that's going to be a wheelhouse result. So home run Baker, let's see if he lives up to his nickname here against the right-hander. 1-38, to it's gone, and 65, that is going to be only a single. He hit it hard, but just got on top of it. So third hit for the Yankees already as Middleton struggling early in this one. That brings up Aaron Ward. Baker gets his lead. Yankees not trying to run. Another patient result, and 56, that's going to be a single for Ward. 
All right, so on the single, ball is blooped into right field and runners advance one base. So first and second, station to station go the Yankees. And again, a threat to score here in the second inning as Wally Shang steps up to the plate. Fiery catcher, again, formerly of uh, Connie Max A's. Here comes the pitch, and we're going to have a defensive check. All right, defensive check is going to be air on the second baseman. And second base for the Tigers. An air result of two, so 71 on a two is going to be an out. And one more fast action card for that, as that is going to be ground ball to the infield and advanced by the runner. So runners go to second and third. Shang is retired on the ground ball to second. That brings up the pitcher, Carl Mays. And Larry Rice has joined us as well. Uh, two, I, I have too many baseball games, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Actually, uh, another one I'm looking at getting, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, as we're going to have an in-play result by Middleton, and that's driven into right field by Mays. Is that going to be deep enough to get a run home? And it will not. That's going to be a short fly ball, so runners have to hold. So back to the top of the order, Yankees. Two base hits to start the inning, but now two down. Top of the order, Braggle Roth, and Roth singled and was forced his first time up. Here comes a pitch, and that's going to be tough. 65, and that is going to actually be a single against the right-hander. Wow, Roth. And that's a line drive into left field, and runner on second's going to score. So a two RBI single by Roth, and the Yankees vault out to a 3-0 lead here in the second inning, and could be a short night for uh, Middleton. The Yankees will not try and steal as Peckinpah gets the sign. Here comes a pitch, and six is going to be an in-play result and a good roll for Peckinpah, and that's going to be another single. So two outs, and that is going to be a hard grounder into left field. The runners advance two bases. So we've got him at the corners as Ruth steps up. He doubled his first time up and was a little chafed that Peck and Pod did not try and score for him. Middleton wipes his brow, looks nervous out on the mound, kicks and fires to the Bambino, and that's going to be an in-pay uh, result for Ruth, and he's going to get out of the inning. That's a sharp ground ball down to third, or first base. And scooping that up is Lou Blue, takes it to the bag himself, three unassisted. So Yankees play two more on four hits, and we head to the bottom of the second inning. It is New York three, Detroit zero. And Carl Mays made short work of the Tigers in the first inning. Facing Bobby Veach, who had a very good 1921 season, and that's going to be an in-play result. And 0-6 is going to be a double, and Veach gives the Tigers their first hit as he drives that into the gap in right center. Roth retrieves it, gets it back in, and Harry Heilman, the batter, Heilman, Hit a blistering 393 in 1921, and he was equally good against lefties and righties, as that's going to be another in-play result. And 40 just missed a hit there, and that's going to be a pop fly into shallow center field. And ranging back to pull that in and retiring the dangerous Heilman is Aaron Ward. One down in the bottom of the second inning as Bob Jones steps up to the plate for the Tigers. Mays gets a sign. Here comes that underhand delivery and another in-play result. That's going to be a ground ball down to shortstop. So let's see if Peckinpah can turn this as that is going to be fielder's choice. Or actually, no, there's no force play, damn it. If each goes to third, that'll be a 4-3 put out. So runner on third, two down for the Tigers. And Lou Blue, the first baseman, steps up. One of the cooler names of the time period. Here comes a pitch. That'll be another in-play result. And Blue ends the inning with a ground ball back to Mays. Mays flips it to Pip at first. Inside is retired. 
Tigers get a hit, strand one. We're through two. It's 3-0 New York in the lead. And as a reminder, our seventh inning morbid fun fact today about former National League President Harry Pulliam. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. And between us all, we probably do. Well, my wife's my wife cleaned out her shoe closet during the pandemic and got rid of about 30 pairs and still had 60 something. So I don't think we're going to beat her with baseball games as Middleton set to face Wally Pip. And it's going to be an in play result. And Pip drives that into left field and venturing near the foul line is Veach. He's going to pull that in one down. Bob Musial, one of the key components of the 1927 murders row, which uh, lies ahead for eager New York fans, steps in. And Musial today 0 for 1 with a ground out to third base. He's going to get an in-play result here. And it's going to be another ground ball down the line and backhanded. A nice stab at third by Jones. Fires it across the diamond and two down. So Middleton seems to have settled down in this inning. Frank home run Baker singled and scored in the second, and he is going to get a patient result way out of the wheelhouse of anything good there. That's going to be a harmless ground ball down to second base. So three up, three down from Middleton, who has gotten over the yips as the Yankees go in order. We head to the bottom of the third. It is still 3-0. And for the Tigers, it's going to be Bassler, Middleton, and top of the order, Ralph Young, Carl Mays. Breezing through the order thus far. Will House to Bassler, but 93 is going to be well out of range there. Driven deep into right field, but Musial back near the track, near the wall, pulls it in. So a long, loud out to start the third inning for Bassler, and that brings up Jim Middleton. Uh, Middleton, a typical hitting pitcher. 143 versus lefties, 150 versus righties in 1921. He's going to get an in-play result. It's going to be a harmless ground ball down to second. So Mays, after giving up a hit for the first time in the last inning, induces a weak ground ball down to Ward by the pitcher. And back to the top of the order, Ralph Young. Young grounded out to third his first time up. Here comes a pitch. And he's going to get a patient result, and he's going to draw a base on ball. So first walk of the game by either pitcher as Young trots down to first. And he looks like he's contemplating stealing, but they're going to hold him there. As Donnie Bush flat out the center his first time, steps up to the dish. And Bush gets an in-play result. Ground ball down to second, and Ward comes in, scoops that up, side arms it to Pip. And the Yankees. Stifle another potential rally after the two-out walk. We head to the top of the fourth. Yankees three, Tigers zero. And PJ has joined us at the ballpark. It was one of the classic uh, dead ball ballparks. Actually, um, don't quote me. I think it lasted into the early 30s, possibly. I may be wrong on that, though, but yeah. The home that uh, Cobb played in as Middleton set to face the Yankees in the top of the fourth. It's going to be another defensive check, and whatever the result here is going to be a good one. So defensive check is going to be an error on the shortstop, and error rating on short is three. So making the play easily there is Johnny Bush. 6-3 on the putout, and Ward heads back to the bench. Wally Shang, the catcher, Shang. Grounded out to second base his first time up in the second. Middleton seems to have gotten into a good groove. Kicks, winds, fires, and swing and a miss. Shang with a big cut at the high heat, and that's strike three. Back to the dugout he goes. As Middleton serves him up a breakfast of Special K, two down for Carl Mays, his counterpart on the hill for the Yanks. And Mays gets the in-play result. That's going to be a pop fly into right field and venturing back to pull that in. Ralph Young and the Yankees are once again set down in order. So that is now uh, eight in a row set down by Middleton, who has rebounded after a rocky start. And we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Yankees holding that 3-0 lead, though. Mays looking solid on the hill for the Yanks. 
going to face Ty Cobb, Bobby Veach, and Harry Heilman, the murder's row of the Tigers lineup. So Cobb, looking for his pitch, gets a patient result and does not see anything he likes, draws the second walk of the game as he trots down to first. Going to bring up Veach, and Veach has the only hit for the Tigers, a double back in the second inning. And it's going to be an in-play result, and Veach gets some wood on that. It's going to be a fly ball into the gap in center field. Roth ranging and gets to it. Cobb has to scamper back to first base. One down. Harry Heilman, the batter. And Heilman's going to get an in-play result. Heilman, one of the premier hitters of the 1920s in the American League, and he's going to ground that down to first base. So ground ball at the corners, and that is going to be a fielder's choice as Pip goes to second base to cut down Cobb. Return throw from Peckinpah, not in time to get Heilman, who is not a very speedy runner, but he legs this one out two down. And runner on first base for Bob Jones. Ballpark result, and 78 is going to be in play. So Jones looking for a little bit of two-out magic. Not going to happen here. Instead, that's a harmless fly ball into right field. So again, Mays gives up a walk, but retires the next three batters. We head to the fifth. It is 3-0, New York up. And coming up for the Yankees as we reach the halfway point of this, it's going to be top of the order. Roth, Peckinpah, and Ruth. Here we go, Middleton. Kicks delivers to Roth and 31. That's going to be a pop fly, and that's going to be on the infield. Calling everyone off is Ralph Young. And Roth is retired on the high pop-up. Now makes nine in a row set down by Middleton, who again has really found his groove after giving up uh, three runs in the first two innings. We're going to get another in-play result to Peckinpah as Peckinpah gets a hold of that. That's popped up the other way and ranging into the outfield shallow left. Donnie Bush puts that away. So two quick pop-outs start the fifth here for the uh, Tigers. And the Bambino steps up. Ruth, one for two of the double. Here comes a pitch. And Ruth will get a in-play result. That's going to be a fly ball on the left. Ruth goes opposite way, but did not get full wood on that and harmlessly put away by Veach out and left, a routine pop fly. So another three up, three down inning for Middleton and the Tigers. And he's really throttled this Yankees lineup after that uh, Three-run deluge in the first and second innings, if you can call that. I guess a three-run sprinkle as Lou Blue set to lead it off against Mays. And Mays is going to give him a patient result. Blue, 65, and that's going to be a walk. So third walk given up by Mays as the uh, submariner. High and outside on that one. Bassler, the batter, the lefty steps up. And he's going to get a tough result and swing and a miss as Mays comes in high and tight. And Bassler, who does not strike out much, can't get to that one. Mays, first strike out of the game. One down. His counterpart, Middleton, up to the plate. And Middleton is going to try and lay down a bunt. All right, sack bunt and a bunt rating of A. That's going to be a successful sacrifice. And fielder on that is going to be the pitcher, Mays. So Middleton puts a runner in scoring position, but there is two outs as we go to the top of the lineup. And Young, 0 for 1, a walk, a ground ball to third base. Mays, here it comes. Coming out of the twilight, in play result, and that's going to be driven into the outfield. That is a single, and will that play the first run of the game for the Tigers? A sharp line drives, drops in front of the left fielder, and only moving up to third is Blue. So first and third now for the Tigers. As Young keeps the rally going, runners at the corners. Tying run at the plate in the form of Donnie Bush. 
shortstop eagerly waits as Mays kicks and delivers and Bush swings at that. That's going to be a ground ball down to third base. Charging in is home run. Baker makes the play and two steps at first. So the Tigers strand runners to the corners. No runs, no well, one hit, no errors. They strand two. We're through five. It is 3-0. Yankees in the lead. Heading to the top of the sixth inning, it's going to be Wally Pipp, Bob Musial, and home run Baker. Middleton on a roll. He's going to get a defensive check, and that's going to be a range play on the right fielder. And out in right with a range of F, that's not very good. It's going to drop down for a single as running to get that is Heilman. And again, Heilman, not noted for his fleetness of foot, allows that to step in front. And with that, a streak of 11 batters retired in a row comes to an end. And the Yankees have their leadoff hitter on here in the sixth, Bob Musial, the batter. Musil is grounded out twice to third base. Here comes the pitch, and in play result by Musil. And that is going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher. So Middleton, let's see if he can turn two. Uh, double play against everyone but an A rating. And that is not going to uh, take Musil into our it's not account for Musil, so that's a 1-6-3 twin killing. So Middleton gives up the hit and promptly erases it as home run Baker steps up. Base is empty, two down. Here comes a pitch to home run Baker. A in-play result as Baker grounds that to shortstop. And Donnie Bush, routine three hopper for him, whips it across, and that retires the side. One hit, no runs, no errors, nobody left. As we head to the bottom of the six, New York still holding that 3-0 lead. And for the Tigers, it's going to be Ty Cobb, Bobby Beach, and Harry Heilman. So we're going to get a patient result to Cobb. And 82, it's going to be against a right-hander, though. So that's going to be in play. Ground ball down to second base. Cobb's retired to start the six. So Cobb 0 for 2 now in this game with a walk. Brings up Bobby Veach. And Veach has doubled and flown out to center field. Here comes a pitch and in play result for Mays. It's going to be a ground ball down to second again. So Aaron Ward, busy here in the sixth, retires the first two Tigers. That brings up Harry Heilman. Heilman, a pop out and reached on a fielder's choice back into fourth. Mays kicks the livers. Tough result, 33. Heilman, oh, against the right-hander. No, that's going to be a single. So Heilman starting a little two-out rally here for the Tigers. As he strikes out less against uh, righties than he does left, he's a two down. Bob Jones, the batter. Mays now looking to get out of the inning. That's going to be a sharp line drive and speared right at him. Peckinpah, self-defense, and sides retired. So the Tigers get a hit, leave one. We're through six. It is still 3-0 New York, who got all the runs they needed in the first two innings. So we start the seventh inning. And remember, our seventh inning stretch is about Harry Pulliam, very tragic National League president. And here we go. Tough result, 19 to Aaron Ward. And Ward swinging a miss, strike three. Is Middleton really uh, pitching well in this game after that second inning? Facing Wally Shang now, and Shang's going to get an in-play result. 33 for Shang against the righty. That's going to be a high pop fly right behind second base, and Middleton has recorded a number of those today as drifting back to put that away is Ralph Young, and that brings up the pitcher spot, Carl Mays. Middleton uh, stares down his counterpart. Here comes the pitch and patient result to Mays. That is going to be a ground ball down to short. And Donnie Bush behind second, plants his feet, whips it to first, retires him easily. So we're heading to the seventh inning stretch. New York leading 3-0. So we're going to talk about uh, our fun fact, Harry Pulliam. So Pulliam, 
Uh, he was born in 1869. He was the son of a tobacco farmer. And uh, one thing that was commonly said about him is he uh, had a very lively personality and was a very hard worker, but he was also apparently plagued by um, insecurities and self-doubt. So he initially caught on with um, Barney Dreyfus's Louisville club, uh, of course, who uh, became the Pittsburgh Pirates and rose to the, uh, he was initially, was a treasurer and rose to club president. And he's actually credited with signing a Hannes Wagner getting a tip from a minor leaguer about this bow-legged shortstop that was uh, tearing up the minor league circuit he played in. And Pulliam went out there and uh, liked what he saw, secured the down posit, or deposit, I should say, from uh, Dreyfus, down payment, and uh, brought uh, Hannes Wagner back to uh, Louisville with him. And the rest is history is Wagner, one of the greatest players of all time. So um, Pulliam eventually, uh, his work noticed uh, amongst the other owners in the major leagues, was elected to the office of league president and uh, actually did a substantial, I mean, made a substantial impression on the others to the point that uh, his salary increased from 3500 in 1903 up to 10000 by the end of 1906. Now, where things really started to unravel for him is in 1908, the famous uh, Merkel game between the Cubs and Giants, which actually uh, affected the pennant race um, to the detriment of the Giants. And just a brief recap of that, Merkel was on first base when a uh, game-winning hit was produced in a key game against the Cubs. He, uh, as was kind of the tradition at the time, just didn't bother touching second base, headed straight to the clubhouse when he saw the winning run was going to score. Uh, Johnny Evers, uh, and there is discussion on whether he got the actual game ball with most people saying Joe McGinnity retrieved the game ball and hurled it into the crowd, but Evers did get a ball and he was declared out by Hank O'Day, forcing the replay, which the Cubs won to go to the World Series that year. And um, Pulliam, by all accounts, went into a uh, fairly significant depression after that, and it culminated on July 28th, 1909, and he arrived at his office at the St. James Building, he was going through a stack of correspondence, um, and basically was apparently just staring out his window for most of the day, and at 1 p.m. he left the office telling him, uh, telling his stenographer he didn't feel well, I went back to his apartment, which was located above the New York Athletic Club clubhouse. And at 930, I raised a gun to his right temple and shot himself in the head. Now, the without getting into the gory details, a bullet um, blew out his right eye and passed completely through his skull. So he was actually lying alive in agony for a while and eventually managed to struggle to um, a telephone and get the receiver off the hook. And a club attendant uh, checking on him because his phone was trying was tying up the uh, athletic club circuits, found the room unlocked and found him in the corner. And at which point the police were summoned, summoned as well as a physician. Uh, the physician ruled him too severely injured to move and to kind of add insult to injury. Um, Pulliam, because the uh, police soon pieced together that he did try and kill himself, was arrested uh, as he lay there mortally wounded for um, attempted suicide. And he eventually passed away uh, on the floor of his apartment the next morning at 7.40 a.m. So again, a very tragic end to what uh, was once probably the most promising executive in baseball. And uh, most people attribute it to that 1908 Merkel game, which... Uh, he just couldn't weather the uh, criticism from uh, and took it for almost a year before finally taking his own life. So I know if Matt Steeler fan 1933 ever checks this video out, he likes those morbid fun facts. And that is definitely one as we head to the bottom of the seventh now and Lou blue set to face off against Carl Mays. He's going to get an in play result and blue is going to ground that down to first base to Pip and Pip has to range to his right. Mays covering flips it to him and one, three on the put or three, one on the put out. 
One down for uh, Johnny Bassler, the catcher. Going to get another defensive check. So it's going to be an error check on the third baseman. And at third base with an error rating of four, uh, dice roll of 66. And that's going to be a nice play by Aaron Ward. So Bobble Zat recovers in time to retire the batter. And Middleton uh, normally would be pulled here, but he has pitched well. He's only given up a single hit since the uh, second inning. He gave up six hits in the first two innings. It's been money since then, and he'll get an in-play result. And he's going to help his own cause as that's going to be a single. So two out single for the pitcher Middleton, and that brings up the top of the order, Ralph Young, the batter, and the Tigers' second baseman is one for two today with a walk and a single. Here comes a pitch and in play result, and that's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher, Mays. Whips it quickly to first, not playing around, and the Tigers get a hit, leave one as we head to the top of the eighth. It is 3-0. Yankees still in the lead. And for the New Yorkers, it will be Roth Peckinpah and one last chance to see Ruth here for the Detroit uh, fans. Uh, we're going to get an in-play result, and Braga Roth leads the inning off with a single as he drives that into left field. So the Yankees can get, get a little late inning insurance here, and the Tigers are going to get some action going in their bullpen as Carl Holling has started warming up. Middleton facing Peckinpah. Uh, Middleton, he can go eight innings before he's fatigued, so he'll be okay here as Peckinpah. He's going to get an in-play result, and Roger, that's going to be a ground ball down to first base. And fast action card says that is going to be a 3-6-3 three, three double play. So two down and Babe Ruth up now. Middleton's got a five. That's going to be an in-play result and 31 for the Bambino against a lefty. That I'm sorry, against a right-hander. That is good. It's going to be a two-out single for Ruth, his second hit of the day. So the Bambino trots down to first base and he's thinking of possibly stealing. And behind the plate for the Tigers, uh, Bassler has an arm of three. So Ruth's going to think better of that and stay put as Wally Pip steps up to the plate and the left-hander digs in against Middleton. Here comes a pitch, and that'll be an in-play result as Pip. Drives that into center field, but it's going to be shallow, and that will be out number three, so the Yankees get a couple of hits. Uh, double play races one. They leave one. We head to the bottom of the eight. Still 3-0 New York in the lead. And it's going to be Donnie Bush, Ty Cobb, and Bobby Veach as Mays. No sign of tiring uh, in play result to Bush. And as I say that, Donnie Bush leads off the inning with a single. But Mays has not allowed the Tigers to string multiple hits together at any point. In fact, they've never had more than one, uh, only had more than one base runner in an inning back in the fifth. So here comes a pitch to Tyrus. That's going to be an in-play result, 44, and that'll be a ground ball down to first. And that will be a fielder's choice. So 3-6 on the putout, and Cobb beats out the relay throw. And Cobb, he's going to try and steal. So 5-C. All right, this will be a... Uh, 
normal result. And here we go. Throw down to second base and Cobb beats that. So he has stolen a base. Still running at his advanced age. One down, run scoring position for Veach now. Here comes a pitch for Mays and six. That's going to be tough. Veach, 55 against the right-hander. And that is going to be a ground ball down to third. Cobb has to hold at second base as home run Baker. Nice play at the hot corner. Harry Holloman, the batter. Holloman today. One for three, fielder's choice in a single. Here comes a pitch in play, 45, and Heilman. That's going to be it as he pops that up into foul territory. Wally Pip, arranging near the stands, pulls it in. Side is retired again, and the Tigers once again get a hit, but they can't do anything with it. We head to the top of the ninth inning, 3-0 New York. As our good friend uh, Beatles Eternally has joined us, Almost dead ball era. I guess 1921 is the next best thing to dead ball. As we have a leaner, we'll redo the whole roll. Bob Musial, the batter. Musial is 0 for 3 today. He has struggled at the plate. It's going to be a patient result for Middleton, who again is uh, now in his fatigue zone. 38 against the right-hander, and 38 is going to be a triple. So Musial. Breaks out of a lethargic game with a sizzling drive into the gap. And diving for that is Bobby Veach. It gets to the wall. And by the time the ball is relayed back in, Musial standing at third base. And once again up in the bullpen is Carl Holling. And Middleton must face two batters. That is always my homebrew rule. So first one's going to be home run Baker in play result 21 as Baker singles in the fourth run of the game for the Yankees. And now the wheels come off for Middleton. He was stellar, only giving up one hit between the. Um, uh, second inning and here in the top of the nine or in the eighth, I'm sorry, there was a couple of hits by the Yankees there. But now he has surrendered the fourth run, and if he cannot get Ward out, he is done. Here comes the pitch. Six. That's going to be an in-play result, and that's going to be a good night for Middleton as that is driven into the gap in left center. That's going to be a double. And line drive into the alley. Runners advance two bases. So second and third, and Middleton, unable to retire a soul here in the ninth inning, is going to be replaced. So gave up six hits in the first two innings, and like I said, one between the third and the eighth. But uh, this little outburst here in the top of the ninth now makes it 12 runs he has surrendered. Uh, on the hook for uh, four runs thus far, with two on base, his responsibility. Uh, he ended up striking out two, and I do not believe he walked a batter. He did not walk a batter. So control was good. Did not give up any home runs as Carl Holling now is going to replace him on the hill. Holling in 1921, 35 games, 3-7 and seven record, a 4.30 ERA. And he's got a little pickle here. One run in already and runners on second, third. And Wally Shang is going to be the batter. So it'll be Shang, Mays, and top of the order. Here we go. Trying to minimize the damage. A patient result to Shang and hauling the left-hander, 57. And that is going to be a walk, and the sacks are jammed with the Yankees. So Carl Mays. As we are debating who the most successful Beatle was. I think Ringo did better in his last marriage than uh, Sir Paul did for sure. As Mays is going to try and blow this open for himself. And ballpark, wheelhouse. And let's see what Mays can do against the right-hander. He actually can get a home run. And this ball, 65, is going to be a single. 
So got good wood on that, and that's going to be blooped into right field, and runners will advance only one base as they had to hold up to see if that was going to be caught. But that gets run number five in as home run Baker crosses the dish. And Mays has an RBI single. It is now 5-0 New York. Top of the order. Brag of Roth. Roth today is three for four. He is our early candidate for uh, game MVP. Three for four with two ribbies. Here comes the pitch. And 10 in play result. And Roth is not going to hurt his chances there. That's going to be another single. And that's going to be a line drive into left. All runners again, only advance one base. So the Yankees content to play merry-go-round here against the Tigers staff. As run number three comes in for the inning and run number six for the game. That's going to close the book on Middleton. His uh, final damage is going to be six runs, all of them earned. And base is still loaded, and Detroit fans, now that the game seems out of hand, are clamoring for a shot to see Babe Ruth hit. There's still nobody out, so he'll get his shot here. And in play result, and 88, that's going to be a ground ball down to shortstop. And that is going to be a 6-4-3 double play. As a run will come in to score, no RBI on the double play. And scampering over to third is Mays. So the Detroit fans, somewhat chagrined, they didn't get to see Ruth hit with the bases loaded. But two outs, runner on third for the Bambino. Let's see if he can still give them a memory. Three, that's going to be a defensive check. And defensive check is going to be an error check on the first baseman. That's going to be Lou Blue for the Tigers. And he has an error rating of three. And 77, he's going to make that play easily and beat Ruth to the bag. So three unassisted as Ruth disgustedly heads back to the dugout. But the Yankees put this one out of reach in the top of the ninth with an explosion, plating four runs on five hits and a walk. So we head to the bottom of the frame in New York and Carl Mays coasting 7-0. And for the Tigers, last chance will be Bob Jones, Lou Blue, and Johnny Bassler. Here comes a pitch by Mays. Tough. And he comes inside to Jones. Swing. Oh, 19. No, Jones just out of his range. He's actually going to cue that off the end of the bat. And that's going to fall in for a double. So Mays gave him a pitcher's pitch, and Jones able to fight it off and get two bases out of it. Lou Blue, the batter now. And the pitch to Blue, that's going to be a tough result. And 60 tough is going to be a fly ball into shallow right field. And runner will hold there. Actually, that is a deep fly. And that will move the runner over to third base. So... Sacrifice fly to right by blue. Tigers now looking to at least uh, salvage a little dignity in this one and get a run across. Going to be an in-play result, 38 and 38. That is in the pop-out zone. It's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher, though, and runner on third will have to hold. One free on the put out. Tigers down to their final out as Mays looking to get the shutout here. Brian has joined us at the ballpark. Welcome, my friend, and Mahomes is indeed a free Robert, and looking forward to actually doing a Super Bowl show with Brian coming up next week. So here we go. Patient result as Middleton. That's actually going to be a uh, pinch hitter. All right, so for the Tigers, it is going to be Her merit and on the patient result, 07, and that is going to be a triple. I swear I didn't look at that before I uh, picked his card out. So Tigers are indeed on the board as coming into score from third is Bob Jones. And Merritt with the RBI triple here in the ninth inning. 
And again, Tiger's just looking to salvage a little bit of pride here, but let's see if they can get two. And maybe two becomes three as Ralph Young steps up. Mays, though, upset in play result 33. And that's going to be a single. So a second run comes in to score. And Mays, he's going to stay out there to finish what he started. So runner on first base, two down. Donnie Bush, the batter. Tiger fans hoping, or those that are left, hoping for an improbable rally. That's going to be another in play result, 26. That's going to be another single. And if it's anything but a short one, line drive into left field, and runners will advance two bases in feet. So at the corners now, so after retiring uh, – Two of the first three batters in this inning. Mays now a little bit on the ropes. Runners at the corners. And Ty Cobb up. The Yankees lead 7-2. to two, Still a comfortable lead. But perhaps some intrepidation as Cobb. Here's the fans roar for him to come through with something big. It's going to be an in-play result. And Tyrus lets them down with a ground ball down to first. Wally Pipp scoops that up. Races to the bag, and that is your ball game. So the Tigers uh, come up with four here in four hits and two runs here in the ninth, and that makes your final tally New York seven and Detroit two. So, of course, that's a big ninth inning the Yankees had. Made this a very comfortable finish for them. All right, so we'll give you our final numbers here and say good night. Uh, so for the Yankees, all right, seven runs, 13 hits, no errors. For the Tigers, two runs, nine hits, no errors. Your winner is Carl Mays, and Mays on this uh, replay, very young replay, game 18, picks up win number four to go against one feet in his fourth complete game so far early in this one. So I'd like to uh, take some time to thank everyone who joined us at the ballpark for this one, Arnold Hunter, JAA, RJL, and, of course, check out that great channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I know it pains you to watch the Yankees, but uh, you hung in. Uh, baseball Demos, Dave, check out his channel as, as well. Larry Rice, thanks for stopping by. P. Jet, always good to see you. And our good friend and fellow dead ball enthusiast, Beatles Eternally. Also give his channel a sub, please. And last but not least, Appa Brian, uh, check his channel out as well and give him a sub. And we will see you next week, Brian, for the Super Bowl preview show. Looking forward to that. Hope everyone has a great night. Thanks for joining us at the ballpark, and we will see you next time. And next time I'm going to get uh, season ticket baseball on the channel for the first time and give my impressions of that one. A uh, very fun game by Clay Dressclaw, who, of course, is the creator of the great computer games, baseball mogul and football mogul. So look forward to that in the next few days, and hope you all have a great night. Anthony with Leach Bums Gaming. We'll see you later.